Hey, Art, uh, Michael at Porsche Cincinnati. Uh, been been a, a busy last couple of days. We appreciate your uh, 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 business as well. I'm going to do uh, a few features here for you. As I'm going to uh, drive the vehicle up. See where the brake is down here? See, it's lit. Did you hear it? And then that actuates the brake and then I pull back. Okay, and then on the, see the gear shift or the red light? See the backup cameras and front and rear sensors. And then right here, if I squeeze the trigger and place it in park. So, uh, always an all wheel drive. And then we're going to get a uh, USB plug in cable and we're. We're going to review the features and function on some of the uh, uh, Apple CarPlay. So right underneath here, and then there's a little uh, side squeeze there, pull up, and then you, uh, that exposes your uh, USB cable right there. We're going to plug in, and then see how it, you're able to shut it as well. And then look here, see it has a phone. Uh, I'm willing to bet you have wireless charging there. So, uh, but we're gonna work on the uh, Apple CarPlay feature. And right here, I want to show you something. Uh, yeah, yeah, right there. Uh, so my associate Jake's got a an iPhone. See right here it says back arrow key. Oh look, here it says Apple CarPlay. Don't show again. Click Apple CarPlay. Accept. And then uh, uh, the screen will come to life. You're able to press and hold right here. Then you get the Siri command. Um, What's cool is, uh, if you look right there, you see the little human head? It's got a, a voice command prompt on it. But if you only press it once, it won't do what you want. You need to press and hold it. And then you get the Siri prompt over here. So you always have Apple CarPlay right here. You don't need to see the screen. Uh, you can leave it alone. As long as you see that symbol right there, uh, your Apple CarPlay is, is working. Jake, thanks. Absolutely, my All pleasure. right, checks on the mail. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's show you a few other things. Uh, see, like you got the binoculars. That's your sport exhaust. See the stop-start system? I know a lot of people don't like to have their engine shutting on and off. And on a Porsche, if that button is lit, then uh, it won't shut on and off at traffic lights. Notice right here, you see the little up and down arrow key? That is actually your uh, front axle lift. So if you uh, have a treacherous driveway or a big speed bump, uh, you press and hold. And the elevation actually just raised. So when it's lit, it's active. And then watch this. So it's lowered. And you could actually see the... Uh, horizon just dip a little bit uh, your heated and cooled seats are right here cooled seats see the three bars click click and then heated steering wheel is on and and that buttons right in the spoke see awesome now I want to show you if I just back up see my uh, right hand thumb and then if I come over here I'm rolling and I can actually get my map view and when I click twice I'm able to actually get the map. Let me show you one more time. See the back arrow key? See look there's a back arrow key here too. Alright, and they work the same. I reach over, I'm in the map, I roll around, I get to the map, I click, click, and zoom, zoom. And you can get, see where it sees the, you can see the street names, everything. Uh, universal symbol to ans uh, cancel a phone call. 
uh, right over here on the right hand side uh, this will answer a phone uh, also give you control over your volume so we'll get in a station right here and there is the circle with the A through it. I want to show you the Sport Chrono real quick. Uh, if you do come into a, uh, the vehicle center and then see where my finger is, that roller, I click, roll down the settings, click, individual, and then I want the individual mode to be my Sport Exhaust and the cancel switch for uh, uh, the stop-start system. Uh, so now that I've uh, done that, I'll back arrow key out and then the individual mode is actually the eye so you go from sport sport plus individual mode is right here so uh, you see the lit designation on I and if you'll look over here now the sport exhaust and this cancel for the stop start is active if we go to normal mode look it disappeared back to individual and then this is a sport response button so when you press that button you get 20 seconds of maximum boost or until you press the button again all right well I hope this uh, uh, video was uh, helpful uh, I know you had a question about the uh, radar detector wire uh, so right now I don't see that uh, Maybe it's uh, been concealed or it was uh, uh, needing to be removed for, for certification requirements. Okay, uh, so you might just have your own direct install there. Uh, no window tent has been done. Uh, and and, and I, I just think when you look at the interior, uh, you're just going to see uh, really incredible conditions. So I, I, I go up and down. Uh, areas where if somebody had a big watch uh, it would have clanked around uh, you know but we, we see really low miles and uh, expert care uh, on the the Targa 4S uh, we're gonna have some certification paperwork that will go along with your documentation and then Monday morning art will circle back with you and uh, make sure that uh, you've received everything in kind okay uh, thanks again, and if you have any questions, I'll be in the office Sunday, 12 to 3 p.m. Talk soon.